So heads up, there's some yawning and hopefully Jamie's, well Jamie is on her way here because it does look like they might get moving shortly. So this is, oh there we go, we're going to look for some stretches, some yawns and just in case it does die I'm going to say toodles and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this evening's sunset safari and I'll be back with you bright and early for the sunrise safari. But we are going to stay with these lions for as long as possible until we disappear. And look at that. Isn't that just gorgeous? Hope you guys are getting some nice screenshots. Andrew has added his spotlight to our headlight. That lovely side lighting there. Okay. Let's have a look. jean says we should try and kill ours. See what the, how's that look, jean -Dre? Put ours back. Okay. jean has told me to put ours back. I don't think it's not quite dark enough for the, the side light completely. But there we go, we can see the grooming starting to happen and uh, it's a good precursor to movement. Yawning, grooming, getting up, stretching, urinating. Now hopefully they are successful in their hunting tonight and remain on Juma. So we can catch up with them on the sunrise safari. Oh, lovely. Come on, give us a big yawn. No, nope, a head scratch will suffice. Isn't she just gorgeous? Or both of them are. Oh, itchy ear. Yeah. They do look like they get immense enjoyment out of a good scratch. And there we can see why allo grooming in, in lions is so important. That big male trying to get around to his back and struggling. There comes a yawn. Everyone ready? Yay! Lovely big yawn. Well, Pierre is obviously a Safari Live serious fan. It's 1 a.m. in Australia and Pierre is watching the, these lions. Uh, Pierre would like to know, why do they have black on the back of their ears? Well, Pierre, it's, it's, it's a, for non-verbal communication. So it's for visual communication. Uh, cubs are able to spot that and they follow their mother. Also, while the lions are hunting, and they're able to move their ears and, and, and there's a lot of non-verbal communication that takes place between lions. So that's what the black's there for, it's, it's a signaling mechanism. So it looks like Jamie has arrived in the nick of time. As according to jean -Dre, we are flashing battery end, battery end which is obviously not something we want to see. So from Jandre and myself, it's been absolutely spectacular having you. It's great to be back in the bush and I can't wait to go out again on the Sunrise Safari. So while the lions look like they're about to move, we're gonna send you back across to Jamie and we're gonna head back towards camp and maybe give some of the camp staff a chance to come have a look at these lions.